March for Meals. It's all about our Meals on Wheels program. And I have Kathy Visser, who's our program director for nutrition. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you. It's really great to have you here. I don't always get to just interview my the staff at the Senior Center, so it's really nice to have you. It's nice to be here. So how long have you been with Senior Services now? I've been with Senior Services for seven years. And before that, you, you're you a registered dietitian. Right. Mm -hmm. And you had a lot of different work background. Right. I've worked with um, the Skokomish Nation uh, as a grant writer and health planner. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been a Peace Corps volunteer and worked overseas uh -huh. as a, um, a drought relief delegate uh -huh. for Red Cross. Wow. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So this is really, well, you probably worked with the elders at the tribe to some degree mm -hmm. or another. But this. Both the senior nutrition program and at the clinic right mm -hmm. so but this is your first job just working with seniors That's right. and yeah well I know we are very lucky to have you so can you tell me a little bit about the senior nutrition program what senior services does and kind of what it encompasses sure bit? yeah well the senior nutrition program um, funded through the older Americans Act uh, fundraising um, and the client donation um, is a program that provides community dining so lunches for seniors, anyone 60 years or better, who uh, comes into our meal sites. We have seven meal sites in Mason and Thurston County where we serve lunch uh, Monday through Friday, depending on the site. Uh -huh. Some sites daily, like Olympia and Lacey um, and Yelm. Uh, other sites a couple days a week, uh -huh. like the smaller sites, Tonino, Rochester, Belfair. Uh -huh. And then also in Shelton, um, five days a week or four days a week now. Uh -huh. um, we also do Meals on Wheels for homebound seniors. Uh -huh. uh, folks who can't get out, uh, can no longer drive, or who are just being released from the hospital or nursing home, we send hot meals uh, to folks uh, three days a week, mm -hmm. and then frozen meals to get people through the weekend okay. in Mason and Thurston County. Okay. Mm -hmm. So can you give an example of what's on the menu? What kind of meals mm -hmm. do you have? So as the dietitian and the program director, I do get the pleasure and um, to plan the menu. And we try to plan a variety uh, of foods on the menu. Once a week, we have a vegetarian meal. Um, and other days, we'll have meatloaf and homemade mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, we provide a full meal deal. So uh, each meal is planned um, to provide a third of a person's needs. So, um, you know, three ounces of protein or the equivalent, um, three servings of fruits and vegetables, two carbohydrates, um, um, dairy mm -hmm. and uh, dessert. Usually we uh -huh. also provide some uh -huh. dessert for folks. Um, but, you know, as important as the meal is the social opportunity that our program provides for people to come out and get together and visit, um, spend time together. And yeah. uh, food is important, but I believe that the social part is equally yeah. as important yeah. for both our community diners who come in uh -huh. for lunch and for our Meals on Wheels folks who may only see their driver um, during the day. That may be the only person that they see. Mm -hmm. So uh, the social aspect and the um, outside contact is also important. Right. So say somebody is interested in the community dining part first. Let's mm -hmm. talk a little bit about that. How would they know, you know, what's on the menu, particularly that day, mm -hmm. if they were going to come in? Well, um, if you get the senior news, uh -huh. the menus printed in the senior news. Uh, we also provide menus at all of our sites that you can take home. Uh -huh. um, you can call. Uh huh and ask, um, but we have a menu cycle and a variety, uh, you know, of, of menu items throughout uh -huh. the week. Okay. Can you think of another that, way? Well, <laughs> I think calling is always calling? a good one. <laughs> yeah. And I know that sometimes they get fresh donations in, so they might tweak we might or change, change the, the menu. menu so the menu is always subject to change. That's uh -huh. true. Right. Yeah. Right. Especially in the summer when we get a lot of donated produce. Yeah. I remember when um, Ria was our cook at the Olympia kitchen and she had a gentleman that called him every day to find out what was on what the menu. Was, uh -huh. He wanted to know what to look forward to. I don't think he called because he didn't wouldn't come in if it was like say a food he didn't like he just wanted to know what he was going to anticipate for his lunch yeah 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 oh. but uh, i agree i think the social aspect is mm -hmm. really important and um you know i think about how i like to eat and i think i always eat 
better when I'm eating at table with friends or family or what have you. And I think that's got to be true for our seniors who most of them live alone. Yes, a lot of them do live alone and on a limited income right. of $1,000 or less. So it's difficult yeah. to have the money and to get out and buy the groceries that you need. And then when you're cooking for yourself or for one or two, it, sometimes it's not as easy to prepare a full meal or right. you're not as motivated right. as when you're meeting with right. other folks. So. so what is the cost of the meal? Um, the cost of the meal for anyone 60 and over is a suggested donation. Uh -huh. So a suggested donation of 3 to $6. Mm -hmm. It cost us about $6, $6 to make the meal. Uh -huh. um, but we do ask for a donation of 3 to $6 from seniors. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of people donate. Uh -huh. um, it ends up paying for about 30% of our program. So mm -hmm. it's very important. The donation. So what if somebody doesn't have $3 with them? Mm -hmm. It's the end of the month and times are tough. Right, right. Um, you know, and that's okay as well. The, that is really the group we're targeting and trying to serve. Um, it's not an income dependent program, but uh, we do try to target lower income folks or folks who may not have the ability to give. So if you're not able to give today, that's fine. If mm -hmm. you're able to give less, that's fine. Uh -huh. um, it all works out in the end. Yeah. So I'm just going to announce now that March 10th is my birthday and I'm turning 60 and I finally get to sign on the senior side right. of the paper. All these years I've signed on the under 60 and I've put in my my payment for a meal. Right. And now I'm going to be able to make a donation, but I will make a donation. I won't just <laughs> scoot by without putting it in. You're always good at paying for your meal. Yeah, so, so now you get to, to eat as a legitimate That's senior. right. That's right. So I'm going to segue a little bit to Meals on Wheels now because mm -hmm. um, that's really what the whole program of March for Meals is going to be lifting up. So can right. you talk a little bit about that term March for Meals and how it came about and what it's about? Right. So March for Meals is a campaign through the Meals on Wheels Association of America to try to promote senior nutrition programs, particularly Meals on Wheels, um, throughout the United States. Um, they also, the Meals on Wheels Association advocates for um, for funding, mm -hmm. for the federal funding that we receive. But March for Meals is a time to raise up the program. It started out as Meals for Mayors, uh -huh. where we would bring in city mayors to uh, serve lunch, to go out on a Meals on Wheels route. Um, and then uh, they expanded the 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 program and the mm -hmm. campaign to include other politicians. Um, and now we've expanded it even more to more of a Champions Week where we bring in um, folks from all walks of life to learn about Meals on Wheels, to serve mm -hmm. a meal, maybe work in the kitchen or go deliver a meal. Right. Mm -hmm. So it really lifts the visibility of the program. Right. Yeah. Right. And I have it on good authority that Trudy Inslee, our governor's wife, is going to be one of our champions who's going right. to go out and come down and help us cook or go out and I deliver a meal. March 17th. Yeah. On St. Mm -hmm. Patrick's Day. Ooh, mm -hmm. how great is that? Yeah, that'll be exciting. Yeah. yeah. I also hear we're having uh, the Rainier's baseball team mascot come rhubarb the moose rhubarb or something the moose, like, yeah. right rhubarb the moose is going to come yeah that'll be exciting that should be fun plus a regular assortment of elected officials and mm -hmm. so it should be really fun so i know this year as last year we were actually having a kickoff event for march for meals and i think that is on the wednesday the fourth at Hanson um, Motors. At Hanson Motors mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in the evening, um, around 4.15 in the evening. And we'll have some folks there, some Meals on Wheels drivers. And right. This speaker just kind of talking about the importance of Meals on Wheels and mm -hmm. um, having some cake and coffee and just a, a good time yes, to kind they, of lift that up. Yes, they make a really nice spread at Hanson uh -huh. Motors. Yeah, they're very good to us. Yeah, yeah, they are. They've been a really great sponsor and sponsored our big food drive that helps us get that was amazing emergency yeah. food out to our meals on wheels recipients too yeah so i know we also are going to be um doing some fundraising that month during march for meals mm -hmm. as well and march 
24th is a dine out. Do you want to talk just a little bit in general about that? So dine out is a program where um, participating restaurants, basically you get your friends together, you take them out to a restaurant um, of your of your choice that's participating in March uh -huh. for Meals and uh, a portion of those proceeds from that day, the entire day from the time they open until the time they close goes towards Meals on Wheels. Uh -huh. And to find out about the um, restaurants that participate, you can go to our website yep. at www.southsoundseniors.org. Right, right. And Hopefully we'll have a poster and maybe our wonderful director, Tom, can can put it up on our um, television mm -hmm. screen here, too. Mm -hmm. And then also this year, for the first time ever, Ralph Thriftway and Baby Thriftway are going to be selling our little Meals on Wheels trucks That's right. up at the front counter. You can make a donation to Meals on Wheels mm -hmm. and sign your name on a truck and they'll post it, which is really That's a exciting. great yeah. community supporter, too. Yeah. So just one more question. If somebody thinks they know somebody about Meals on Wheels, how could they find out about the program and see if they qualify right. and find out more about the program? What should they do? Right. So um, if somebody um, thinks that their loved one or somebody they know needs Meals on Wheels or if they think they need it themselves, maybe they're preparing for surgery, um, they're 60 and over, they know they're going to be homebound when they come home and have no one else to prepare food for them, uh, they just need to give us a call at 360 Five eight six six one eight one, and ask for Flora, mm -hmm. and she'll uh, screen them on the phone. and And if mm -hmm. she believes they qualify, if they you know jump through the initial hoops, then right. she'll refer them to our Meals on Wheels assessor, who will then go uh -huh. into the home and interview them and mm -hmm. um, find out what their needs are. All right. Well, I just want you to know that I'm going to be qualifying for Meals on Wheels in March, too, <laughs> since I'm right. having surgery. So I thought I'd do them both at once. <laughs> now, hopefully, Except you have a lot of outside support. I so do we'll have some outside that. support, so I might not qualify. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, thank you, Kathy. And we're going to take a break here and be back in just a minute. But I want to thank you for coming and just sure. explaining about the program. Happy to be here. Okay. Well, stay here for just a minute and we'll be back. So please stay with us.